Before we get started click the link in the description below to see what helps me manifest my goals in life. 1. Watch your beliefs first things first, you must align your belief system to be in total agreement with what you are wanting. Because if your beliefs don't support your vision, you will always subconsciously hold yourself back from achieving your goals. Align your belief system to be in total agreement with what you are wanting. Tweet it. The best example I can give is this, if your dream is to be wealthy, you have to make sure that all your beliefs about money are fully supportive of you becoming wealthy. If you believe, even a tiny bit, that rich people are con artists, then that would be an example of a belief that is incongruent with what you are wanting. Because as much as you want to be wealthy, you don't want to become a con artist. And therefore you will not allow yourself become rich. Your subconscious mind will hold you back to protect you from such a fate. Therefore your belief is counteractive to your desire. This belief is essentially cancelling the intention of the desire. Similarly, if you believe that money is a limited resource, meaning your gain is someone else's loss, you will also end up holding yourself back from becoming rich. You're a nice person and you don't want to take away from others, despite how much you may want to be wealthy. If you have this inner contradiction you cannot make progress. Not only are you holding yourself back, but you're also sending mixed messages to the universe. You're basically being a hypocrite, and nobody likes those. I want to be a rich person, but rich people are assholes. I want to be wealthy, but I don't want other people's money. Stop killing your dreams with butts. The universe is just gonna be real confused like, um. So what is it? Do you want the money or not? So how do you align your beliefs with what you so passionately want? First you have to closely examine all your beliefs and then change the ones that no longer serve you and your vision. Learn how you can change your beliefs in part 1 of 9 things that are killing your ability to attract wealth. 2. Become a vibrational match Once you've got all your beliefs lined up, the next step is to become a vibrational match to what it is that you want. This is vital because you cannot experience anything that is not in sync with your vibration, for better or for worse. To explain this most simply, everything is made up of moving energy and therefore has a certain vibration. Your kitchen table is energy. Water is energy. You are energy. Everything is energy in some form or another. Even your thoughts, feelings and emotions are energy. Hash Quantum Physics 101. You are an energetic being and your mood is the direct indicator of your vibration at any given moment. And just as you have a certain vibration, the things that you want also have a distinct vibration. In order to bring them into your experience you have to match your vibration to their vibration and boom. You're a vibrational match to your dreams. Which will attract them to you, or you to them, like a magnet. That's how the law of attraction works. Like attracts like. Your vibration is your point of attraction. Meaning your vibration is the determining factor of what you attract into your life experience. Your vibration is the determining factor of what you attract into your life experience. Tweet it. You can only attract things that match your vibration, so it's best to vibrate with purpose. Which really just means, do everything you can to feel good, vibrate higher as much as you can. Like I mentioned before you measure your vibration by your mood. Your emotions are a direct indicator of your vibration. When you are in a high vibrational state you will feel emotions like love, joy, peace, happiness, forgiveness, gratitude and so on. When you are in a low vibrational state you will feel emotions like depression, hatred, jealousy, sadness, hopelessness and so on. Once you begin to understand this you can use your emotions like a compass. The compass that leads you to your dreams. Hashtag Imkorni. This is how you know how close or far you are from achieving your dreams. The better you feel, the closer you are and vice versa. The reason why anyone wants anything is because of the way they think it will make them feel. That's why it's important to know why you want your dream to come true. How do you think it is going to make you feel once you have it? Take a second to really think about what emotions you are looking to fulfill with your desires. How will you feel once the wish is fulfilled? Abundant? Loved? Secure? Successful? Happy? Once you know what emotions you are after, you'll know that that is exactly what you need to be a vibrational match to in order to see your dreams realized. Luckily for you, I've created a super badass manifesting cheat sheet that will help you get clear about what you want and how to align yourself with it vibrationally. Oh, and did I mention it's free? Manifesting cheat sheet ready to turn your desires into realities. Get the manifesting cheat sheet The key to manifesting anything in life is to become a vibrational match to it by practicing the desired emotion of what it is that you want.
First you practice and embody that emotion and then the desired manifestation has to come. For example, say your dream is to adopt a child. You really want to adopt this child because it will bring you feelings of heroism, unconditional love, and joy. In order to become a vibrational match to having that child, all you have to is start practicing those emotions now. Find the places in your life where you already feel like the hero, you already practice unconditional love and you already find joy. Maybe you feel like a hero when you hold the door open for somebody. So start doing that more often. Maybe you practice unconditional love with your wife. Start embracing that feeling more. Maybe you love tennis and it brings you great joy when you play. Play it as often as you can. Whatever makes you feel good, do more of that. That's how you raise your vibration. Even if you're not focusing on the exact thing that you want, raising your vibration by focusing on anything that makes you feel good gets you closer to it. And pretty soon, before you know it you'll be the perfect vibrational match to whatever it is that you want. Side note, chances are, your dreams and desires have a higher vibration than you. That's why you want them, but that's also why you don't have them quite yet. Chances are, your dreams and desires have a higher vibration than you. That's why you want them, but that's also why you don't have them quite yet. Tweet it. Another technique for becoming energetically aligned with your desires is to use your imagination. Use the manifesting cheat sheet, or keep a dream journal, and every night before you go to bed write down what your dreams will feel like when they are already fulfilled. Luckily for you the brain has a hard time distinguishing between actual reality and perceived reality. So when you're imagining what you want with great emotion, you will bring yourself there energetically. And one day your actual reality will catch up to your perceived reality. Never face reality until your reality is just the way you want it to be. Abraham Hicks I'll stick with the adoption example. If you wanted to adopt a child, your journal entry would look something like this. I feel so good about bringing this child into the safety of our home. Our child brings so much joy and unconditional love into our lives every day. We love being parents and role models to our little kid. It feels so nice to have a family. I love being a dad. I never knew I could love someone so much. I've never been happier in my life. You have to write in the present tense and imagine that the wish is already fulfilled. The more emotional you get, the better. You want it to feel real as you write it. Side note, this is the exact tactic I used to manifest the love of my life and our relationship is word for word how I wrote it. Hash freaky read all about it in how to manifest the love of your life. Pro tip, it's best to do the journaling exercise when you're already feeling hopeful, excited, and optimistic. Treat it like a game of imagination. It's supposed to be fun, not homework. 3. Receive it already once you've done some spring cleaning with your beliefs and started vibrating at the frequency of your desires all that's left to do is receive them. Hash party time. Sounds easy enough, but surprisingly a lot of people really suck at being in this receptive mode. The receptive mode is the last part of the creative process. When you are in that sweet spot of feeling good and getting great ideas and impulses that help you to realize your manifestations in full. The receptive mode is more something to be felt than to be explained, but I'm sure you have experienced moments of it before. It's that feeling you get after a good run. It's the sensation of knowing that everything is working out in your favor. When your dreams are so close you can taste them. It feels like clarity. It feels like fun. It feels like you're on the leading edge. It feels like presence. It feels like well-being. It feels like knowing. It feels like enlightenment. Enhance your receptivity by being as happy as you can be, getting as much rest as you can, feeling as good as you can feel, having as much fun as you can have. Your bliss is what leads you to the receptive mode. At this point, everything is already lined up for you, you just have to be in the right mood to receive it. It's not just gonna drop into your lap, although it can, but it will come to you incrementally through ideas, impulses, and hunches. Allowing is an art. To be in the receptive mode is to practice the art of allowing. Allowing the universe to do its thing. Its thing being matching you to things, places, people, situations, and occurrences that match your vibration. Don't make it happen, that's the old mentality, allow it to happen. There you have it. The three major steps of manifesting your desires so fast you'll think it's magic. Pissed. Are you ready to get serious about manifesting the life of your dreams? Well then you might want to look into my online course Manifesting Masterclass. If you're ready to become a manifesting machine, this will help. Check it out here.
But it's not magic, it's just manifesting. That thing you've been doing your whole life here on Earth, but was never explicitly taught to you until now. The difference is now you know what you're doing and you can do it on purpose. That's what deliberate creation is all about. That is what you were made for, to experience your own power in action. If you found this video helpful please subscribe to help support this channel.